morning guys. Um, sorry for the close up. This is my boat motor in gear, struggling along. And now a uh, shifter down. Now that's neutral. And you can see. Sounds like she's running a lot better in neutral. Put her back in gear. There she is struggling again. Something tells me I need a new prop. Um, maybe the guys, somebody can tell me if that's what you think. It's starting to go now. But will it last? I don't know. So. <laughs> That's the way it goes, I guess. Um, because of that, I'm pulling off of the lake. And uh, I'm going to do that now, so I've just headed up the camera rack. And until I get a new prop, well, I won't be on the lake. It sucks because I really wanted to travel the lake longer. So, change of plans, but I guess that's the way it goes. Hopefully I can get all my sets checked before my motor dies or my prop gives out completely. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you posted on any catches. We're off to a nippy start this morning, I guess. Hey guys, I'm just at that foothold that was on the uh, log there. And it's gone again. So that's a good sign. I'll just get shit sorted out here. Well, <laughs> just get shit sorted out here. Pull myself up. And we're gonna pull this out. So, hopefully my camera doesn't go flying into the water. Muskrat front leg catch. Um, so I'll pull this trap out and I'll uh, go pull up the other three that are not set off and we'll carry on. That's cool. I got a muskrat here today. That's good. And we'll uh, actually, oh, there is still fresh poop on that log, so they are still coming. But we'll leave them be for now and come back another day. Okay. Hey guys, I'm just coming in. I had the 3.30, uh, 3.30 in here. Um, it's set off. Not quite sure what happened. But, having said that, I guess that's okay. You don't always get a perfect catch. Um, it's hard to say what happened. Must have just been a bad catch or something, or a rat, maybe. Anyways, I'll uh, get this out. And, uh, carry on. Okay. Oh. It's only about one, maybe two. We had a heavy frost last night. And the water is dropping fast for temperature. It's getting cold. Um, I did bring towels to dry off my hands and mitts. So but it is freaking cold out. That's why I'm wearing a toque. Alrighty, we'll catch it. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, still at that 3.30. I just wanna show you. See the stick? That was the side that was up against the bank. It's fairly tight. And this is the side that would have had the beaver. So I guess I need to rebend my jaws and uh, fix that because, well, I just lost the beaver because my jaws weren't tight. So, if you disagree with me, let me know, but I think that's what happened. That sucks. Oh well, we'll uh, carry on, I guess, and uh, see if I don't have anything else further down the trail. Hey guys, I'm just at what I call Muskrat Island. Um, this little spot here last year yielded 
well over half of my rats and as you can see I got another one on the trail set there uh, I got two Connies there one tens and this number two foothold is actually on a slide wire because last year the water came up about three feet and an otter came through here and got himself caught which is okay except there was a set intended for muskrats and a number two is heavy enough to drown a muskrat but not an otter so I put it on a slide wire just in case an otter came around but it doesn't look like he did yet so I'll uh get that rat out and I'll uh, pull up and move off. I still got that one beaver hut where I pulled up the two big beavers so far. I'll go check it and uh, pull that out and then we'll carry on. I got sets already set on the highways and roads so we'll uh, go check them and keep putting more out over there until I get a new prop and can come back with my boat to the lake hopefully the snow doesn't come in before I get a prop but anyways so that's the deal I got myself rat number two and uh, cool we'll get everything squared away and tucked away and carry on uh, I just want to show you on this rat that's his eye so something came and took one eyeball how messed up is that? At least he didn't do any fur damage anywhere else. <laughs> but, cool. Nice big rat, actually. So, oh well. Never seen that before, and probably won't be the last time I see it, that's for sure. So there's my two rats. And we'll uh, get them out, or we'll carry on. <laughs> but, that's pretty messed up. My rat had his eye chewed and only the eye. So, huh, weird. But okay, we'll carry on. <laughs> Having to go this speed, I should have just brought a friggin' fishing rod. I could have trolled. Might have caught a couple pickerel on the way up to the next site. Oh well, hindsight's 2020, I guess. <laughs> Having said that, that's most of my trap line on that side of the lake. Um, I was hoping to use this trail we're up ahead here to cut across because it's the only road from the lake that goes to the EMU road. And uh, when I called Buddy, he had given me permission last year, but uh, this year he'd prefer not. So I guess I gotta go around the long way. Which kind of sucks, but uh, at some point I will find a place, maybe a little past his property, and I'll be putting a trail in from the lake all the way up. Because there's no way in hell I want to keep doing that drive. It means I have to load up the skidoo and, well, I'll do the drive because I have to, but if I can find a shorter way, then I'm going to find the shorter way. Um, and it'll also mean that my sets, any sets along the lake, will have to get moved. If I can't use the lake, there's no point in trapping, or use that trail. <clears throat> there's no point in having sets here and over there. It just adds to my day and time, so I'll move the ones that I do have along the lake. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll carry on up. Um, and head over to my last sets as I putt along here and uh, hopefully I got something when I get there. Got two nice rats so far. Here's hoping for two more and at least one beaver off the lake for my final day on the lake for now. And like I said, when I get a prop, I'll be back. Until I get a prop, I may as well trap the roads and uh, Ponds that I can get from there. There's some ponds that I can't really, I can get from the road, but it would be better if I waited till winter, so I'll do that. And uh, yeah, we'll just cut along and just keep plugging away at the beers. And when everything else starts opening up, well, we'll slowly start on them too. So cool. Have a good one. We'll see you in a bit. I'll let you know if I got anything. And uh, 
it doesn't rain too. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, I'm just at my last location. Um, my 330 down there is still set. That foothold's still set, but there's fresh poop on the log. Stupid buggers. Uh, that foothold's still set. That 330's still set. I think I got skunked at this location. My 330 with the mullet is still set. That's okay. Otters aren't prime yet anyways, so. And my last one is still set. Yep, I got skunked. Okay, so I'll put everything away and I'll uh, carry on to the uh, highway and the EMU road and check my sets over on the other side. So we'll see you in a little bit. And have yourselves a good morning.